With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that there is a non-conducting rod of length L with linear charge density given as to be lambda and lambda is a function of x. It is equal to lambda naught into x where x is the distance from A uh, and, and, A, uh, and A and it is rotating with angular velocity okay, about the end about the same end okay so we are taking x from this end a and it is rotating about this end now if the angular velocity omega is very large we then the magnetic dipole moment of the system is given as to be omega lambda naught l to the power 4 divided by n we need to calculate what is the value of n now uh, what is this given this is the magnetic dipole moment okay now how is magnetic dipole moment given magnetic dipole moment would be equals to current multiplied by area okay now where is the current so there would be linear because this is a linear charge density okay and it would be rotating with some angular velocity that means charge is rotating okay now if this charge is rotating so there would be an equivalent current which would be uh, which would be in this uh, which would be generated we can say that our di the small current which would be uh, uh, due to a small charge let's say the small charge let us define a charge at this location let's say this location is our dx okay so what would be the charge at this location this is small charge dq so lambda this is the linear charge density so it would be dq would be equal to lambda multiplied by the length it is equal to dx so di would be charge would be basically is what it is a rate of uh, sorry current is rate of flow of charge so it would be dt sorry dq divided by time so omega is the angular frequency okay or we can say that angular velocity so what would be the time it would be equal to the time period so what would be the value of dq dq would be equal to lambda multiplied by dx what is the time period? Time period is 2 pi divided by omega. So our di would turn out to be uh, this lambda is given as to be lambda naught into x. We put the value as lambda naught into x. Then this omega would be in the numerator. We just adjust no, omega into the numerator. Then dx divided by 2 pi. Okay. Now while it would be moving, while it would be moving, so it would be moving in a circle. We can see that it would be moving in a circle. This our charge would be moving in a circle. So this would be the area. There would the loop would be moving. So this would be the loop which would be created. So what would be the uh, what would be this area? Area would be equal to pi into x square. We can see from the above if we uh, just make this from the above, we see that this would be our rod. Let us draw our rod. Let's say this is our rod, and this we have defined the portion x, okay? And this is our dx which we have taken. So this is the portion dx. So it would be dx would be going like this, okay? Moving in into this loop. So it would be creating a circle. What is this circle? Circle is this. What is the area of this loop? Area of this loop would be equals to pi r square. Therefore, the small magnetic dipole moment, this would be equals to di multiplied by pi into x square. Okay. Now we know the value of our current di. We can put and we can get the value of our dm. So dm, then it would be equals to omega, omega lambda naught, then x divided by 2 pi into uh, pi x square. And there is a dx also. Now to get the total magnetic moment, we can just integrate it. So if you perform the integration, this would be our m and we can put the limit from 0 to L because L x would be varying from 0 to L from here to here 0 to L. Okay. What are the constant term which we can take outside lambda omega naught we can take outside uh, this lambda naught then pi and pi would be cancelled. Then there would be a 2 and finally it would be 0 to L x cube dx. Now, if we integrate this, it is a very simple integration. So it would be lambda naught divided by omega lambda naught divided by 2. It would be x to the power 4 divided by 4. Now, if we put the limit as L, so it would be L to the power 4 divided by 4. Or if we just adjust it, so it would be magnetic moment. This would be equals to omega, then lambda naught L to the power 4 divided by 8. Now, if we compare this with uh, the expression which has been given, uh, omega lambda naught L to the power 4 divided by n. We just check. Okay, then n value would be equals to, we can say that our n would turn out to be equals to 8. So this is the value of n. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.